So if a woman has a hysterectomy, we'll say a total hysterectomy, she doesn't have her cervix or her uterus. Well, if she still has her ovaries and she is premenopausal, what does that do to the ovaries? Well, clearly you're not going to have bleeding, so you can't say, well, the period's gone, so you're in menopause. No, because menopause is really about the ovaries, not about the uterus. That's why I keep saying it's not about the uterus, it's about the ovaries. So ovarian preservation is really important, but when you do a hysterectomy, it can cause ovarian aging at a more rapid rate and earlier onset of menopause. Now, how are you going to know if you go into menopause if you have no uterus and you can't see what happens to your cycles? The same can actually happen if you've had an endometrial ablation where the uterine lining is essentially burnt out and there's no bleeding. Well, if you have no uterus to bleed or you have no uterine lining to bleed, then what are you going to do to measure? Blood tests. Okay, 